think I should become a Catholic? No, don't do that. I like that you believe in a meaningless existence. <laughs> Everyone has heard of the male gaze. However, for the sake of simplicity, I will define the male gaze as the way of looking in which typically straight cis men objectify women in film. In contrast, the female gaze is defined by the way of looking in which typically straight cis women view men as sexual objects. Though female filmmakers are also participants of the male gaze in cinema, there are a few pieces of media that have been categorized as examples of the female gaze, including the show Fleabag, which we will discuss in this video essay. Created by, written by, and starring Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Fleabag is known for its use of breaking the fourth wall throughout the show. In the middle of conversations or scenes, Fleabag will interject with either hilarious facial expressions or snide comments that the rest of the characters cannot see or hear. This element is used throughout the show and is never addressed until the middle of the second season during a conversation between her and the quote-unquote hot priest that Fleabag has inevitably fallen for. Celibacy. Go. I just... I couldn't give up sex forever. It's just too... too... Celibacy is a lot less complicated than romantic relationships. What if you meet someone you like? I talk and drink and laugh and give them Bibles and hope they eventually leave me alone. What if you meet someone you love? We're not going to have sex. <laughs> I know that's what you think you want from me, but it's not. It won't bring any good. My mind. It won't. I've been there many times before I found this. Many, many times. How many times? Many. I'd really like to be your friend, though. I'd like to be your friend, too. We'll last a week. What was that? What? Where did you, where did you just go? What? You just went somewhere. There. There. Where did you just go? <laughs> Nowhere. Okay. I chose this scene to talk about the female gaze because of all the looking. The priest is looking at Fleabag. Fleabag is looking at the priest. Fleabag is also looking at the audience. Through all of that looking, we can see the sexual attraction that Fleabag is feeling. However, we also know about Fleabag's attraction because she tells us. She reads between the lines for us. She gives us a literal look into her thought process during the scene, which then becomes the way that she solidifies her female gaze. However, what makes this, this particular scene a distinctive example of the female gaze is that the priest notices her looks to camera. He asks, Where did you, where did you just go? This effectively distinguishes the priest from every single other man that Fleabag interacts with. We know that this relationship is different. We know that he is different. He understands Fleabag in a way that other men have not. The way that Fleabag looks or gazes at the priest is completely different from the moment that he notices her looks to camera. I would argue that this scene solidifies the fact that Fleabag falls in love with the priest. Where the male gaze focuses primarily on viewing women as sexual objects, a jumble of body parts put there simply for the pleasure of a man's gaze rather than people with emotions and minds, the female gaze focuses on sexual attraction through emotional attraction as well as physical. Fleabag shows that the female gaze distinguishes itself from the male gaze by not only objectifying men differently than the way that men objectify women, but also putting emphasis on the emotional connection between the two as a means of sexual attraction.